Good afternoon, I'm Anna from Be The Change Journals and I would love to share with you a little bit about my perspective about what to do with our dreams and who to share them with. Our dreams are formulated of our ideas and our passions and our values and they're kind of shaped by these and they are they become kind of like tangible things that could happen when you believe in them. So, um, so you know, focusing in on what your dreams are is the first step to, to heading towards them and making them come true. So effectively, kind of in your head, you have to believe that they have already happened because you believe that it can happen. So then, if you see what I mean, it kind of, in your head, it's, it's like it, it's already true. It's true for you. So. So that is what your truth is. <laughs> so your truth is knowing, knowing what is going to happen and what is possible to happen. Some people can be unsupportive um, through love and and hate, <laughs> but you know even people who you know they only want the best for you, um, but but they can be negative and then it's hard to sometimes um, just be able to brush it off because these are people that you care about, maybe. Um, so yeah, it's um, you have to decide who, who will, who can you share your dreams with and your truth with that will support you and not give you any doubt. Just be like, yeah, okay, I believe in you, cool. Or you know, even if they don't get it, they can be like, great, I'm so happy that that is what you are doing and that is what you are deciding to to work towards. That's fantastic. This is why I think it is important to find your your people, your tribe. Um, I love the saying, your vibe attracts your tribe. So you surround yourself with people who inspire you and you know they, they support you and also they try and boost you. They, they boost your morale and they, they boost your, um, your focus and they just they, they want the best for you too and they want you to achieve your dreams. Um, and they kind of you know they're, they're giving you they're showing you nothing but love. And to be, you know, supported by these people just feels so amazing, and it makes you realise that yeah, you don't have to share your dreams with everybody. You may be doing, you know, your dreams may be to help everybody, you know, um, but but you don't have to share what it is exactly you're aiming to do with everybody because it doesn't serve you and it might not serve them, um, and that can kind of create a distraction from, from you achieving your goals and you achieving what it is that you're setting out to do. So you need to um, <clears throat> stay focused on yourself and your dreams and what they are and just try and rise above um, any other negative feedback that you do get if you do, you think it's okay to tell someone but then you realise you shouldn't be sharing everything with. Um, I think you'll quickly learn the more you kind of, the more you do share with other people, you'll start to figure out which which people are the ones that are not serving you well through no pro you know, no fault of their own. It's not that they don't want to support you, um, but that's when you realise that you should just say no, I can't, because you don't want negativity in your life, because that's a distraction for you too. So you need to stay positive, and that is the way to, you know, to actively to work towards your dreams. So how can you find your tribe? How can you find your people? Um, I recommend finding um, an attribute about yourself that you, you feel is uh, dearest to your heart. So, you know, something that's a really big part of your lifestyle. Um, for example, your, your diet. Um, so I know through finding the vegan community, I found a lot more people who are kind of you know, acting at a similar vibration to me, that are kind of in the same mentality. Um, so it could be a hobby, it could be a sports activity, um, and this is in the physical world as well as kind of the digital <laughs> social media world, because then also you can take, you can find those relationships online, and then you can take them offline, and it might be easier to to sift through people, <laughs> you know, by interact through interactions. Um, to find out if you, if you kind of, yeah, if you match and if you, if you work well together. So obviously it doesn't go to say that everybody 
um, who shares that one attribute about yourself, it doesn't go to say that they all will be your people. Uh, you then obviously have to, to narrow it down and you keep meeting people. And um, But I think the key is just to keep meeting new people. Because the more you meet new people, the more you get out of your comfort zone and you have to, you have to keep, um, you have to keep showing the best side of yourself possible because when you meet new people you could but you wouldn't do well if you're kind of moping and like hi, hi Amanda yeah I'm really tired, I don't know if I really want to be here right now huh yeah that, that's not very inviting but if you're like hi I'm Anna yeah I'm really excited to um, you know to see what this group is going to bring me um, I love life! <laughs> Not quite on that scale, um, but I think as soon as you start to, to kind of to see why the negatives do not serve you when you're meeting new people, um, and not necessarily new people, I suppose this is relevant to, to all people, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't do well for you know, a relationship, a two-way relationship, if you're both being negative all the time, because then you're not raising each other up um, a bit off topic there. So, find your people through similar things that you do and um, and then start talking and exploring new things, trying new things because once you are um, once you are kind of living your dream and you are living your truth um, because obviously stepping back again your truth and your dreams are happening now because they're happening now inside your head because you're believing that they happen so in the present here my dreams are true and I'm living my truth get it? <laughs> there's many reasons why someone may be unsupportive towards your dreams but you have to keep you have to keep focused on your dreams for your own sanity and for yourself because you believe that they can happen I believe they can happen for you um, because if you can de if you decide that it can come true then of course it can because because you believe it and if you believe it it means that you're putting effort into it you're you are you're not denying it to yourself which means that it can only go one way it can only happen so you just gotta go get it <laughs> go get it tiger <laughs> if you don't get it someone else will so i hope you've kind of established why you shouldn't tell everybody your your personal desires and goals and dreams but why you should share them with other people there is a lot of gain to be made by bouncing ideas around with people that support and want the best for you so, okay, one place to find them will be down the line when we have some active members in the Be The Change community. Um, it'll be a fantastic place for people to share, the, their, share their successes and their goals and their desires and everyone will be nothing but supportive. Right now it will be the same but there'll just be many, <laughs> much fewer people um, contributing to to the page because we're so small but we will only get bigger so have a fantastic day go check out the facebook page at facebook.com forward slash be the change journals uh, or head over to be the change journals.com or find me on instagram at at anna molesworth um, and send me a message at anna at be the change journals.com as well just an email to if you have something you want to discuss or you want to um, you know, you want some support and you want some kind of some feedback on your desires or your goals or your what you wish to achieve. So have an amazing day everybody and I shall see you soon.